y'all. Thank you for tuning into my channel. It's been a while since I've done a get ready with me first impressions makeup video, so here I am. I have posted a picture of these products from Profusion on my With Kristen account and asked if you guys would want to see a first impression get ready with me video, and you said yes. So I got this contour kit, highlights and brows from Target, $6.99 a piece. I thought it was a great deal. I've never really I've heard of Profusion, but I never paid attention to their products. And I happened to pass by, and I was like, oh, I got the three products that I love. Highlights, contour, and brows. And they're only $6.99 a piece, and I thought these were great to try out. Great for, it's a holiday collection, great for a holiday gift, birthday gift. Anybody wanting to get into makeup, doesn't want to spend a lot of money on various products, this is a great way to go. I saved time, and I already did my foundation and set it. I use Maybelline's Fit Me Matte Poreless in number 322 and I set my foundation with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and the number 25 medium and so I'm not going to do like an entire full face I'm not going to put on blush eyeshadow I just want to do these three products and show you there's a lot of products in here so what I'm going to do is basically swatch them and then choose the one I think is going to work the best for my face and I'll give you my honest opinion on swatches and how they blend into my face so you guys can check this out because I think it's important to be honest when it comes to makeup. I mean, there are expensive products that are not good. There's cheap products that are good. So just because the dollar sign is there doesn't mean it's good or bad. So the first thing I want to do is brows. Like I always say, brows will make or break a look. And it looks like this. It says brows on it. And it's this tint. It reminds me of the Naked 2 palette, the way it's made. Metal. So yeah, has this big mirror in the inside, which I love, and it is covered with plastic, so when you buy it, it'll be covered up, that'll let you know one, no one has messed with it. And this comes with a spoolie and an eyebrow brush, and it comes with an eyebrow pencil. And there is, I will show you guys what's all with this. Let me take this off. So, it comes with a spoolie on one end, and on the other end is an eyebrow brush. It's pretty stiff, which is great. And then it comes with an ash brown eyebrow pencil. I do not remember if there's different um, colors for this, but in here you get quite a bit of color. You get this um, beige highlight. You get a brow wax to set your brows. You get medium brown soft brown, chocolate, and ash brown. So you do get some colors to work in here. Um, the color I would probably use is between probably soft brown or chocolate because my eyebrows are pretty dark. So I'm just going to, let's zoom in, do my brows, and let's see how this works. So I'm just gonna brush my brows. Ooh, I love this bullet stiff. And I, I should have like plucked my brows, but whatever, we're here anyway. I'm gonna brush them how I want them to look. I love the spooling on this. It's really nice and stiff. Okay, and so I'm gonna take this right here and I'm going to dip it into the chocolate for the tail end of my brow. And I'm gonna use soft brown for the beginning of my brow and blend them together. So I'm just gonna dip this in the chocolate right here just a little bit, just like that, and see how this works. Oh, okay, it is pigmented. It goes on pretty well. I'm working with it. It's very pigmented. Do y'all see how good that looks? That is like... <laughs> and so I want to um, dip it in the soft brown to do the beginning of my brow. And it blends really well with that chocolate. And then I'm just gonna, you know, blend this in right here. And then I'm gonna take the spoolie and just, you know, make sure it's all blended in well. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. And so I'm going to take this wax and set my brow. OK. 
Okay, it's not too thick. It doesn't, you know, you can, t you can feel that it's wax, but it's not too thick and it feels like it's setting my brow pretty well. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to do the other side. And then I'm going to go back into soft brown. Oh, this is, I think I did too much powder. But remember, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins, so they're not ever going to look identical. But, yeah, let's... I like that, so I'm going to take this wax and set it. And your wax, when you have a wax, it's always going to be how brown it is because you're dipping your brush in there. Okay, I like that. First impression of this, it blends together very, very well. Um, the colors show up really nicely, as you can see. Um, you only need a tiny bit. As you can saw, when I did this brow, I did a little bit more without realizing it, and it showed up very, very pigmented. I love how my brows look. And I do want to swatch this ash brown and medium brown and just kind of show you guys. Okay, that's ash and that's medium. Okay, this is ash and this is medium. It's like a grayish color. I don't know if I would use that for my eyebrows. I would, you, I think it would work as a good like color for your eyeshadow. But I don't know if I would use that for my eyebrows because of the gray undertones of it. But um, just the two colors I tried and the brow wax is fine. I want to swatch that highlight. I'm not putting on the highlight because I'm not wearing an eyeshadow. And so I think it will look kind of crazy just to have this highlight <laughs> color there with nothing on my eyes. So um, I do love this spoolie, okay, and this. I forgot to do the pencil. Which I, I should have probably did the pencil first to fill in, but let's try it just to go, just to accentuate the brow. And so I'm going to go in and go under. Very sharp, okay, just a little bit. And I like how that looks. And this is how thin it goes on to the hand. Focus. Goes on very thin right there and it does have a cap. So oh, for this, I like this. I like this brow product. $6.99 y'all, $6.99 for just brows. It can't hurt, just go spend seven bucks and get some products for your brows. So um, next up, I'm going to try this contour palette, and I didn't bring like any tissue in here, nothing. Oh, there's a little wipe. Okay, I just want to, because I want to swatch. So you get one, two, three, four, five, you get five products in here and a brush. So let's take this brush out for now. Have a mirror, and you have... Shimmer highlight, beige highlight, light contour, medium, and deep. Now I'm gonna tell you right now. Now a deep contour would work for me, but y'all see how light bright I am? Like they call this deep contour, and I'm telling you now, a woman with way more melanin than me ain't gonna be able to use this. And so, you know, makeup companies, the majority of their buyers are women of color, darker women of color. So I think when you're going into making a product and you wanna call something a deep contour, it needs to be a deep contour. It needs to, people need to be, women and men need to be able to relate to your product and say, yes, that's gonna work. This ain't gonna work for a chocolate honey, no. Uh, so let, it comes with this brush that says Pro Fusion on it. And let me t I'm gonna tell you right now, uh-uh. You want me to contour with this, this soft ass brush? I mean, this would be something for just dusting. Like contour, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. But you know what? I'm gonna try it just to show y'all. <laughs> so, um, I would use the deep contour on me. 
that, that's what I would use, but I'm gonna dip it in there. Oh, it's powdery. Okay. Woo, there's a lot of fallout. Oh my God, okay. Con number one, fallout. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, it's good for like just putting it on there, but I wouldn't try to get chiseled with this, no. I'm just gonna put that right there. All right, let's just, let's just, you know, blend this out. I would say about blending, um, it takes a little bit of work to blend, but it does blend. So keep that in mind with that deep contour. It is blending. Okay, so I want to swatch this medium, light, and beige. This is medium, light, and that beige highlight. We, we're not contouring with this. This ain't gonna work. <laughs> this ain't gonna work. Like, who's contouring with this? Like, no. No. Um, let me do this shimmer highlight. Ooh, y'all, woo, look at that. Okay. That's a highlight. That's a highlight. Okay, so, let me give you my first impressions on this um, contour kit. Um, it's, I, I would not buy this, okay? Um, only because the contour shades in here are so light. If you, you know, are someone who is not of color, a white girl, white man, whatever, this could work for you. But as far as these contour shades, for anyone darker than me, this ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Um, another thing is that there's, there, it's very powdery. Like, all this fallout, right here is very powdery and I'm not a fan of because you just get product everywhere so the only really good thing about this palette is this highlight that's about it and if they sold it separately I would be all over it but this is this is a product the brow product was so good um but I would but the contour no I would just leave this don't buy this you know just don't so I'm gonna move on to the highlight palette and um, I kind of wish they would have put the highlight in here too. That way we can be good. This comes with a brush also. Probably the same type of brush. Which I think could work great for highlighting if you just want to dust some color on. Um, so this brush right here. Very, very soft. And y'all, the, the colors in here are absolutely gorgeous. We have Dreamy, Charming, Tempting, Jolly, and Goddess. These are some very very pretty highlights and so let's just swatch them um where did that wipe go where did that wipe go i don't know but anyway um i'm gonna swatch dreamy charming tempting jolly and goddess so dreamy charming tempting jolly goddess okay so these are the swatches right here uh, these are kind of heavy swatches, so they're, I mean, they're gorgeous, but maybe, let's just put it on. I don't want to use that brush. I want to really get in here and do some highlighting. So, since I'm going for like the more natural look, you know what, what do I want to do? Let's, I'm going to take Jolly, which is this really pretty like rose gold color. I'm going to dip that. This is very powdery as well. Okay, put this right here. Okay, this is really pretty. It's subtle, but you can see the rose gold. I can see it. I like it. Okay, so I want to try another one because we're going to be at disco ball today. I want to try this charming and put it like on the bridge of my nose. <laughs> charming, this is really pretty yellow. Um, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The swatches on my hand fooled me. It made me think that these weren't going to show up that well. Okay. I like it. I like the charming. Good. And I'm going to put the, a little bit on the Cupid's bow. Okay. So instead of a blush, instead of a blush, I want to try this, um, this goddess, this dark, this golden color over here, goddess. I like how it blended with the Jolly. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, so overall, I like this palette. I'm a sucker for highlights. Um, $6.99, I would recommend buying this palette. I really like it. I think it looks really pretty. It looks really pretty on the face. The swatches made me think they weren't going to be that well but once you get it on the face i and i used a duo fiber brush so if you were to go in with a more dense something like this you're going to get a lot more color on your face so just keep that in mind but the highlight palette yes the brow palette yes the contour no there are some eyeshadows that you can buy there's also kits where you get like a, a bronze or a blush and some eyeshadow so if you want to try like all, a bunch of products in one they do have those palettes and so i want to finish this up by putting on some mascara and putting on a lipstick I will just open this up so I can use the mirror and um, the mascara that I'm using is L'Oreal's Lash Paradise which to me is a holy grail um, so I just want to put this on really quick one coat y'all like this mascara is everything all right and then for the lipstick if you saw my makeup Monday post I posted the bold Maybelline and this one I'm using raging raisin and 775 and I love these I love this because you can have just a look like just mascara your eyebrows done and then put this on it bam a look You got no lipstick on your teeth. I don't know where that. Oh, here it is. Okay, but y'all, I really like how this look came out. It's it's simple. I don't want to do eyeshadow. I don't want to do blush. I just want to concentrate on these products. Like I said, the brow product. Please go out and get it. Please. The highlight. I really really like. I really like it. So I I can imagine myself like gravitating towards this whenever I do a makeup look. And I love the I love highlight palettes because it's something. I like palettes in general because it's something you can take with you. When you're going somewhere and when you have options you can mix them together you can put, mix all three all five together and create your own look so i really love the highlight palette the contour not so much because there's only really one color that works for me there's only and you know i can't deal with that the highlight is great so i will definitely use that highlight color and that one brow so just i wouldn't buy it because it would be a waste of money for anyone darker than me um, but the highlight kit, I do recommend the brows, definitely. So, yeah. But that is my first impressions of these Profusion kits. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? You're like, please, get with the program. And I will see you all next time. Bye.